channel. I just want to jump right into today's video, but if you're new here, I am lulling Lisa, hoping to lull you into a state of sleep or relaxation through ASMR. No. Here we have a box of La Dure macarons. These macarons are French cookies. And when I saw this box, I knew that I had to have it, so my boyfriend got this for me. This box of eight macarons was, I believe, $35 Canadian. These are notoriously like the most difficult cookies to make. And they are a macaron, so it's very French. <laughs> I wanted to quickly show you what everything looks like. These are the flavors. And I took a variety of a few of my favorites, so I will show you what I got in this lovely little box. It's wrapped very pretty. the macarons. They are almond cookies, so they're essentially gluten-free and they're made with just almond flour. And I have a variety of flavors, a few of my favorites. There is even a new flavor. It's a gold one. I don't know if it said exactly what it was. I'm not sure if it's on here, but I believe it's like a mandarin, like a golden is it written on here? So here, these are the most classic flavors. I have a coffee flavor, a vanilla flavor, salted caramel. The blue one is Marie Antoinette. I'm working from the bottom up. <laughs> and then we have a rose and we have a, a different one. I don't, I don't think I got two roses. Unless I did, I can't remember. Then pistachio and the one that I told you about. Let's take them out of the box, and then I will try them. I think I'll eat about half, and then I'll save the last half for my boyfriend. <laughs> so, let's see. Look how pretty they are. And I'm going to be eating these, so... Is this rose as well? I don't know if I got two roses. The rose macaron from La Dure is my favorite, but I will say I live in Canada. And they ship these over. I should actually put this on the different side. They ship these over from France, so they're not as fresh as when you'd have them in Paris. I've had these in Paris and they're incredible. When I was lucky enough to go to Paris. And the box is so lovely of La Dure. This box. I actually collect the boxes. If you'd ever like to see them in a future video, please let me know. But I collect them. And this box was gorgeous. And this is the um, Versailles. This is the Chateau de Versailles. So the Palace of Versailles. It's not too far from Paris. I've been to Paris twice, but I've never been to Versailles. So. So we have our lovely macarons for breakfast. Macaron, I should say. <laughs> Sorry for my pronunciation, but yes, not to be confused with macaroon, the coconut cookie. But yeah, they look so delicious and honestly, they're my favorite cookie. I've been eating these since 2010 and they were really hard to find in Canada where I live at the time, but now they're so popular. I'm so excited, so I'll just be eating them at random and telling you the flavors. I think I have a good idea of what they all are, but this first one is, I believe, vanilla. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. 
and I have here some coffee. <laughs> I'll eat about half of each cookie. <laughs> so I have eight, that's like four cookies in total. This next one is coffee. Mm, it smells like coffee. Now I should say that I love the more creamy flavor, so I like the more like nutty flavors, caramelly flavors, creamy flavors. I'm not too fond of just the pure fruit flavors, but they have those as well. Mmm. Mmm. They're better than usual. Mmm. <laughs> so, I love to bake. I haven't baked anything on this channel, but I should, but... It's taken me a while to master them, and even when you do master them, like, they're the most difficult cookie. They're so finicky, they're very hard to make, and they use like a lot of expensive ingredients like the almond flour, the buttercream and stuff, so that's why they're so expensive. $35 for 8 cookies is a lot, but it's my favorite cookie and they're worth it, so since um, my boyfriend bought these for me, I decided that I would eating these. I don't eat on camera very often, but I love watching people eat on camera, so. This next one is the Marie Antoinette. It seems like a caramelly, almost like a tea flavor, so let's try. Mmm. So I have here, I should read it to you, the Marie Antoinette is actually tea. I think it's tea, so it's Marie Antoinette tea flavored, which is really delicious. I highly recommend this one. Now, the consistency of a macaron, on the inside, it shouldn't be too chewy. It shouldn't be like a chewy, like amaretti cookie, if you're familiar with the Italian cookie. It should have a crisp shell. It should be almost like melt in your mouth soft on the inside with a slight chew and it should have a nice buttercream filling and the flavor is actually, it's not in the shell, it's in the buttercream. So the cream inside gives it the flavor. The shell is just very pretty, decorated very nicely. So, Marie Antoinette. The next one that I have here is salted caramel. This one is fantastic. It's more like a salted caramel in its purest form. It's not a buttercream. It's really, really good. You can tell I'm familiar with Mackinac's. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Can you see the caramel? <laughs> two rose ones. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This one is so fresh. Mmm. <laughs> You're probably thinking, save one and bite the other, but I just had to be sure. Hmm. Rose is my favorite. It tastes like a flower. Hmm. I think I'm gonna eat this entire thing, yeah. Mm. 
If something is so good, do you find that you like dance? Like you do a little? Mmm. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna sound gulping my coffee down, but we'll see. <laughs> Do you like this gingerbread mug? I've showed this to you in my Christmas home tour video. Oh, we have two left. Let's go with my other favorite. In life, one of my favorite flavors in any dessert is pistachio. I think I started this video out whispering. And now I'm like softly talking, but I hope you don't mind. But yeah, pistachio flavored anything is my like favorite thing in life. Favorite flavor. Mm. Mm. The texture in this macaron is a little bit different because I think they might actually make this shell with pistachio flour as opposed to just almond flour so the texture is a little bit more spongy mm. Mm. This smells really nice And if you see some cut clips, just know that it's me being a little too noisy and excited about everything. So this one's really beautiful. This has gold. You can see that it's golden. It's like a golden orange color. Wow, I'm so excited. This smells like the faintest bit of mandarin. I believe it was mandarin something. Mmm. <clears throat> Very nice. The leftovers. still seven left, not eight because I ate the whole rose one. <laughs> but this was so fun to do. I love food. I love eating videos. I love eating. So if you would like to see more of this from me, please let me know. I had a lot of fun having breakfast with all of you. And this latte day box is like incredibly gorgeous. I can't believe it. When I saw that they had a nice design because they have all of the usual designs, but this was the Versailles. I just had to have it because I, I do collect these actually. I'm a little bit of a hoarder, so when something is too pretty, I just can't give it up, but... The macarons in Toronto are, of course, not as good as Paris when they're super fresh, but these were actually really good today, so I'm very impressed with La Today. My only wish is that Pierre Hermé, my most favorite macarons, would come to Toronto. His buttercream filling inside is like so thick. It's delicious, but these were incredible. I love La Dure. La Dure is essentially like, I believe, the inventor of the macaron. So, these go back quite some time. And their packaging is just incredible. I feel like that's what really sets apart a lot of high-end European pastry shops compared to what we have here. Their packaging is incredible and I love that. So I really liked having breakfast with you all today. I am sort of like a, in this case I will say Parisian, where I like to have something sweet for breakfast with a coffee. Much like Italian culture, you'll have your little something sweet, cookies, cornetti, what have you, with a coffee, cappuccino, and 
For me, that's my perfect breakfast, but I understand not everyone likes to eat that way. Especially not even Canadian culture. We like our, you know, eggs and stuff for breakfast, but I'm a sweet person. I need something sweet to go with my coffee. So, I'm so happy that you could be here with me today. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, that it brought you um, a smile in the morning. Maybe we can have breakfast together. That would be really cute or a little midnight snack, or if you're like me and you like to watch videos of people eating when you're hungry before bed. But thank you so much for being here with me. I felt it was so appropriate to eat one of my absolute favorite desserts with you all on camera. And if you have any future ideas for me in a food-related video, please let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from you all. all of the macarons with you. There's cafe flavored coffee, pistachio flavored rose, orange blossom. I forgot to get that. I should have got that instead of rose. I was just too excited. Chocolate is really delicious as well. I forgot to get chocolate. I got vanilla, the Marie Antoinette, caramel fleur de sel, salted caramel. There's lemon, raspberry, which is some that I'm not that crazy about. There's passion fruit actually sounds good maybe next time and then they have this strawberry candy marshmallow flavor which I've tried but I prefer the classic buttercream so la durée maison la durée since 1862 so they are essentially I believe the originators of the macaron and this little this little package was on my macarons just telling me the date that I got them and it just says to keep them refrigerated and then 15 to 20 minutes prior to serving to take them out I tend to take them out at least half an hour before they're really good when you can have them at room temperature so they should not be too cold and I describe the flavors for you and everything I think I don't want to leave you but I should say goodbye <laughs> this video is getting so long if you're still here until the very end of this video I want you to comment saying I love macarons, then I'll know who actually stuck there till the end. But do let me know if you actually do enjoy macarons. This could be a coincidence, but I love them. So, I will be saving these. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!